Hi, Todd Vandenberg here with Vandenberg Capital Management and another Uncommon Sense update. So today I thought I'd spend a minute or two talking about one of the things that contributed to the, the volatility earlier this week on Tuesday specifically when the market opened up really big after having closed down really big on Monday. And that thing is what's called an exchange traded note. Now, the one that I'm specifically thinking of was making a bet that uh, the volatility would be low in the market. So it was specifically tied to a thing called the VIX, the volatility index. And for a long time, the VIX has been trading at all time lows, you know, in the eight, nine range. And when the market closed down so big on Monday, down 1175 on the Dow, what happened to the VIX is it went from like nine to 37. And this exchange traded note and others like it that were betting on no volatility it became next to worthless. One that I'm specifically thinking of lost 95% of its value when the volatility index went from nine to 37. So what, what happened there on Monday when that happened is on Tuesday morning, this 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 fund was required to do a bunch of selling, have a bunch of sell orders open to the market first thing Tuesday morning, and that's what caused the market to go down rapidly uh, Tuesday morning. So as you can probably gather, what I'm trying to explain here a little bit is that not everything that's going on has to do with fundamentals, has to do with profits or earnings or wage growth or employment. This was literally a product that was betting on low volatility, not individual securities, and it made a bad bet and it got hammered and that caused the initial volatility on Tuesday. So keep that in mind as you're making decisions about what to do with your investments. Uh, not everything that you hear in the media or, or read about when it comes to market volatility is really appropriate for long-term investors. So keep that in mind. If you have any questions about this, exchange traded notes can be a little complicated. You can feel free to email me or call me. I'm happy to answer any questions you would have. But that was your update. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, give it a share, and we'll be back in a couple of days with another Uncommon Sense update. Thanks for watching.